Hi all, this is just a little update on the Kono Viper Mark 1. Um, I've been working on the cockpit illuminations and um, basically the cockpit's going to sit in pretty much in there, sort of like that. Um, and what I've done is done as much detailing as I can pretty much on the inside. So we've got um, some switches and some dials and bits and pieces and I've put a bit of flat um, uh, sort of styrene as a as a screen, which I'm probably going to put something like some greaseproof paper behind it to fog it slightly, so that the uh, the light is diffused. And then a little um, there's a little decal to go on there, which looks like a a working display screen. Um, but what I've used this time, I don't I haven't used this much before. I used to use just drilled holes and ambient lighting inside. This time I've used basically a light tube, or I've made a light tube. And really all it is, is um, drilled some, I can't remember if it's one metre or 0.75 of a millimetre um, holes for the fibre optic to go through the actual control, uh, the cockpit of the model. Uh, and then we've got uh, fibre optics, and what I've done is on the end of the fibre optics I've offered them up to a little um, match just to melt the end of the fibre optic. And what it does is it makes like a little a little bulb shape I suppose, a little dome so that they can't pull through, a bit like the head of a pin um, that's probably the best way to think of it actually, think of the head of a pin on the end of a fibre optic and what that does is, as I say, it stops it coming through I've put a bit of glue on the back of these to hold them in place white glue, canopy glue, not um, uh, not super glue because that will just eat through the, the fibre optic cable um, oh, where's my focus, come on focus then I've just tied them together, taken them all off to about there inside so they're all cut to the same length. Then I've just made up a little piece of uh, brass tubing, uh, which you can just see in there actually. I don't know if you can see in there. Yeah, actually, if I hold that up to the light, you'll see the fibre optic coming down. Yes, yeah, so you can see the light, the fibre optics in there. Um, and what I've done is I've just painted a little bit of the end on this end, the red and blue. And of course, you can see what that does how that transfers down the fibre optic. So, now that tube, not only is that the right size for my fibre optics, but it's just about the right size for a 5mm white LED. And this is how it works. Let's see if I can do this with one hand, so bear with me. should really use two. There we go. So, the LED is going to be glued into the end there. It's all just loose fitting at the moment, I haven't glued anything just yet. So we've got the LED, LED into the end of the tube, fiber optics into the side of that, tube, the end of that tube, and then we've just got some, some power here, and uh, I'm just going to fire that up. And what you see is, you see at the end here, you see the LED, which is all lit up, which is great, but the tube is transferring the light to the fiber optic tubes. And if I hold this up away from the... it's very bright in here at the moment actually so you can't see the full effect but if I try and get in the way of the daylight, there we go I think you can get the idea there now that we've got some it's quite good looking lighting in the cockpit there you go, that's with them off, that's with it on Where did I... Ah, I see what's happening. I'm shorting out at the other end. There we go. So that's how it works. So that's basically an LED transferring light up through a light tube into place. And then that in turn is going to fit inside the uh, fuselage. I'll just pop that in so you can see what that looks like as well. Okay, right. This is one half of the fuselage. Um, literally with the cockpit in place um, and I've just laid that little assembly in that I showed you a few minutes ago. Now that gives you an idea how the whole thing works. Now the red and black cables, the power supply obviously aren't going to come through the nose, they're going to double back uh, and be threaded through here and they're going to come down to this end where they'll exit through a tube in the stand. But that just gives you an idea how that assembly works. So it's all nicely hidden inside so we've just got power supply into an LED and then we've got a nice little brass tube as a, a, a light can or a light tube which really focuses the light onto the ends of those LED, uh, end of the um, 
fibre optic cable which then goes up into the cockpit and from the inside that's what it looks like. Now there's a uh, the light's not too bad at the moment, but uh, yeah, there we go. So you, you get an idea. Uh, obviously, when you're looking end on, they're quite bright, um, but uh, with a bit of colour on some of the others, um, looks a bit interesting. And then what I'll do is I was going to have either a green or what I, what I did say to um, to the guy I'm building this for is uh, I might put a secondary LED up behind the screen, uh, which will be um, diffused a bit um, but then I might I might actually use a, an, uh, an RGB in there so that would be a an LED that f changes and rotates through different colors so it looks like the screen is moving so the lights will be sort of static but the screen will be changing color anyway that's it and it just gives you an idea how it's coming on and if you're looking at doing a model how to get some lights in there bye for now right okay of glued in the LED uh, which is glued into the top of the, the brass tubing. Brass tubing is glued and attached to the end of the fibre optics. I've used five minute epoxy about 10-15 minutes ago so here goes. Let's, let's see. There we go. That's the idea. So we've now got a complete, a complete unit and what I'll do is I'll extend the wire um, a bit further and I'll extend this so there's enough to double back and then exit at the back of the the back of the canopy um, canopy the back of the um, cockpit rather so uh, that's it for now uh, more soon okay uh, right after some gluing and some test fitting this is what we have at the moment I haven't done the screen yet, although well, it's quite an interesting effect at the moment because you can see the wire, you can see the fiber optic behind the screen, which actually gives it a 3D sort of feel on that screen. Yeah, interesting. I'll experiment with that. Anyway, so there's our cockpit. So we've just got some nice bright light where we want it. We've not got any additional light, and it should throw up a little bit of light onto a ah. Oh, Pilot, so let's just turn the big light out and see what we can see. Oops, sorry, that was a bit of feel seasick. Yeah, so we get some a little bit of cockpit illumination back to the pilot's face. Which is quite good. A bit more light. The camera tends to wash out the colours a bit on these lights, but I think you get the idea. And then we'll put the big light on as well. of the scale here. It's actually very small but there's, uh, there's quite a bit of light going on in there now. Pilot's eyes look rubbish to ignore those. They're not, they're not finished at all. Okay, so I think uh, that'll do it for now. I'll, um, I'm going to, I think I'm probably going to go ahead with the original idea and have a uh, another LED behind the screen that uh, changes colour. Well, I quite like the idea of the random, not random, sorry, uh, I do like the idea of the sort of 3D view of the fibre optics. It looks almost like a picture in itself, doesn't it? Anyway, just uh, thinking aloud really. Okay, more updates to follow.